hello good evening dear students welcome back to the chemistry class in the last class we have discussed about solubility and vapor pressure so in solubility solubility of solids in liquids and gas in liquids in vapor pressure vapor pressure of solution containing two volatile component or one non volatile component that is solid in liquid and liquid liquid solutions in solubility concept we have studied about henry's law what is the mathematical statement the mathematical statement of henry's law is x is equals to p by kh that means solubility is inversely proportional to henry's law constant vapor pressure vapor pressure for a solution which containing one non volatile component what is the formula vapor pressure of solutions vapor pressure rolls law states that what is the mathematical statement pi partial pressure of any component is directly proportional to x a that is mole fraction of solvent only whereas vapor pressure of a solution containing two volatile component for that partial pressure of any component i is directly proportional to xi is it right so first one partial pressure of any component is directly proportional to x is directly proportional to xa if it containing a non volatile solvent non volatile solvent and the second one pi is proportional to xi means its mole fraction if both are volatile what is the difference between these two it is exact mole fraction of solute or solvent any component but in this case it is only for solvent it depends only on solvent uh, it is vapor pressure hence this law mole fraction is equal to partial pressure by kh and this law so these three mathematical equations we have studied based upon this so today we will discuss about little concept that is ideal solution non ideal solution azeotropic mixture look at this in this part uh, they are going to ask the example soon which of the following shows negative deviation or which of the following shows positive deviation they will provide four options you need to select the one a pair of liquid solutions mixtures which ideal solution or non ideal solution if it is non ideal whether it uh, shows positive deviation or negative deviation just take the heading ideal and non ideal solution the next concept is ideal solution ideal solutions and non ideal solution one is ideal and second one is non ideal solution yes what is the meaning of ideal solution what is the definition ideal and non ideal solution so in this non ideal solutions again it is of two types the non ideal solution showing positive deviation and the non ideal solution showing negative deviation now simple ideal solution in class 11th unit number 5 states of matter ideal gas real gas we have studied about ideal gas and real gas so what is the ideal gas equation pv is equals to nrt pv is equals to nrt if the gases which obeys the ideal gas equation pv is equals to nrt ideal real gas if it do not obey pv is equal to nrt real gas so here solutions which obeys a rolls law over the entire range of concentration entire range of concentration the solutions which obeys the rolls law over the entire range of concentration is known as ideal solution if it do not obey then it is said to be non ideal solution so here we have the difference between ideal and non ideal solution so here in first point it obeys rolls law rolls law over the entire range of concentration whereas in non ideal solution which do not obey rolls law over the entire range of concentration now the simple question in case of ideal and non ideal we are mixing two liquids suppose if a plus b a plus b a is a liquid a a is one liquid it is mixing with the another liquid b b a a and b 
there will be some interactions between the molecules e and b force of attractions force of attractions between the molecules b and b when it mix with each other it forms a solution ab a b so again there is some force of attraction between the molecules a and b so here three kinds of force of attraction a a b b and a b b b a a and a b so if the force of attraction between the molecules a and b if it is same as that a a and b b so i am directly writing here in this case the force of attraction the attractive force between the molecules ab is the same as the magnitude of aa and bb the force of attraction same whereas in this case the attractive force between the solution and its components is different the force of attraction between a and b it is different it is not equals to aa or bb it is not equals it is different from the its components intermolecular interaction is different now if for force of attraction increases or decreases so what what is the variation in its vapor pressure what happens so vapor pressure if the force of attractions is equals to same then the total vapor pressure is same as a plus b if two liquids are mixed liquid a and liquid b so total pressure is equals to sum of individual pressures pa plus pb is it right liquid a it exerts some pressure liquid b it exerts some vapor pressure so when a and b are mixed together the total vapor pressure will be equal to sum of a and b so total vapor pressure of a solution is equals to pa plus pb because force of attractions are same so therefore total vapor pressure is a it is same a uh, total vapor pressure exerted on the solution is equal to sum of these two but in this case the total vapor pressure is not equals to pa plus pb it is either greater than or less than greater and lesser if it is more than expected values it is said to be positive deviation if it is less negative deviation so first point ideal and non ideal ideal solution and non ideal solution first point away rounds law over the entire range of concentration force of attractions in ideal solutions are same as its components the total vapor pressure exerted on the solution is the sum of partial pressure of individual components now if two solutions are mixed with each other suppose even in theory exams also they have asked one or two times for one marks 10 ml of liquid a is mixed with 10 ml of liquid b then the total volume of the solutions is 19.9 then this obeys or this shows positive deviation or negative deviation ideal behavior or non ideal behavior the first point if 10 plus 10 20 volume of sol volume of a volume of b 10 ml of a 10 ml of b are mixing so the resultant volume will be 20 so the n a reactant minus product if suppose a plus b is equals to solution ab 10 ml of this plus 10 ml the product is 20 what is the change delta v change in volume is equals to volume of product minus volume of reactant the delta v is equals to 20 minus 20 that is equals to 0 so if it is ideal solution then delta a mixing of v means delta v mixing this is equals to zero whereas in case of non ideal solution delta v mixing delta mixing of v is not equals to zero is it clear the next point enthalpy of reaction enthalpy delta h suppose it is a a and b b two liquids ye ye plus b b the resultant solution is ab now in order to break this bond some amount of energy is required in order to break this bond between b molecules some amount of energy is required suppose let us assume that x joules of energy is required y joules of energy is required so during the formation of bond formation of bond is always in exothermic reaction 
formation of bond is an exothermic reaction so when a new bond is formed some amount of energy will be liberated and here so the liberated here during the formation of bond some amount of energy will be liberated and in case of ideal solution so here x plus y amount of energy will be liberated x plus y so therefore delta h mixing enthalpy of mixing product is x plus y reactant is x plus y so therefore it is delta h mixing is equals to zero delta so in ideal solution delta h mixing is equals to zero whereas in this case enthalpy of mixing is not equals to zero this is about ideal and non ideal solutions ideal solution and non ideal solution so in this non ideal solution it is of two types non ideal solution it is of two types one is the uh, solutions which showing positive division and negative division non ideal solution showing positive deviation and one more is negative deviation positive deviation and negative deviation look at this in this case the intermolecular interactions are not equal if it is not equal whether it is greater than or less than the its components so in this case positive deviation means positive deviation positive deviation means the total vapor pressure absorbed by the liquid mixture is equals to so in this case the total vapor pressure is greater than pa plus pb pa plus pb is said to be positive so in this case it is not equal if it is greater than the sum of pa plus pb then it is said to be positive deviation if it is less than total pressure pa plus pb it is negative deviation total the vapor pressure the total vapor pressure is more than a plus b then this indicates the intermolecular interaction becomes stronger or weaker when will be the vapor pressure is more vapor pressure means what the liquid mixture the liquid molecules must and should escape from the liquid surface if the force of attractions are strong it cannot escape into the vapor phase so it require more amount of heat if the force of attraction it becomes weak then it readily escape so when the vapor pressure is more this indicates the intermolecular interactions between the a and b is less than or more than its components it is decreases so here the intermolecular interaction in ab is less than its initial force of attraction a a r b b force of attractive forces are less therefore vapor pressure is more so whereas in this case negative deviation in case of negative deviation the intermolecular interactions is greater than its uh, initial magnitudes a a and b b the attractive force between the liquid a and liquid b it is greater as compared to a and b so therefore vapor pressure is more vapor pressure is less now delta v mixing delta v mixing what happens to delta v mixing whether it is less than zero or greater than zero for positive deviation its value is positive that means greater than zero because greater than zero that means so when uh, total vapor pressure intermolecular interactions it decreases means it undergoing expansion expansion means the product is more than reactant the difference becomes positive so in this case delta mixing delta v mixing delta v mixing is greater than zero in case of positive deviation it is greater and in case of negative deviation delta v mixing is less than zero it is negative similarly enthalpy of reaction enthalpy of mixing is greater than zero enthalpy of mixing is less than zero less than zero and preferably they are going to ask the examples ideal and non ideal solution they are going to ask the example so for ideal solutions ideal solution you need to select the examples which are almost similar closer for example benzene and toluene benzene plus toluene is an example of ideal solution you can note some of the number of example because in books they have represented one or two example but in objective questions so number of example they are going to ask 
you just note down the number of examples for ideal solution benzene plus toluene n hexane n hexane plus n heptane n hexane plus n heptane ccl4 carbon tetrachloride plus silicon tetrachloride si cl4 ccl4 plus si cl4 ethylene dichromide ethylene dichromide and dichloride ethylene dibromide plus ethylene ethylene dichloride dibromide and dichloride etc these are the examples of ideal solution now in non ideal solution some of the solution which showing positive deviation and some of the solution which showing negative deviation suppose if two liquids we mix together after mixing if any force of attractions are begins between the liquid molecules then it said to be positive deviation or negative deviation if two liquids have mixed after mixing those two liquids between the liquids a and b intermolecular interactions increases then the solution is said to be with a vapor pressure what happens decreases. decreases when vapor pressure is decreases it is a negative deviation so if force of attraction increases vapor pressure decreases it is said to be negative deviation if force of attraction in, uh, increases so this happens if force of attraction decreases positive. positive deviation so here in positive deviation force of attraction should decrease so please note some of the examples of positive deviation ethanol plus cyclohexane in positive deviation ethanol ethanol plus cyclohexane ethanol plus cyclohexane ethanol plus acetone ethanol plus acetone ethanol plus acetone acetone plus benzene acetone plus benzene acetone plus benzene water plus acetic acid h2o plus acoh acetic acid cscoh water plus acetic acid water plus methanol sorry water plus methanol ch3oh ch3oh acetone plus cs2 acetone plus carbon disulfide carbon disulfide water plus ethanol methanol plus ethanol water plus etoh c2h5oh water plus ethanol ccl4 plus chloroform ccl4 carbon tetrachloride plus chcl3 chloroform these are the some examples of examples of positive deviation and some of the examples of negative deviation acetone plus chloroform acetone plus chloroform acetone plus ccl4 oh, sorry acetone plus chloroform ch cl3 ch cl3 hno3 plus nitric acid plus ch cl3 ch cl3 that is chloroform next example h2o plus water plus hcl water plus hno3 water plus hno3 next uh, ch cl3 chloroform and diethyl ether eto et diethyl ether acetic acid plus pyridine acoh acetic acid plus pyridine next chloroform and benzene ch cl3 plus c6 h6 etc and if you get some few more examples you can add to this list ideal solution and non ideal solution which of the following show ideal solution ideal behavior which showing positive uh, ideal or non ideal behavior which showing positive and negative deviation they are going to cross so just note the examples
these are the pair of liquids which showing positive deviations whereas this it showing negative deviation the non ideal solution showing positive deviation and a negative deviation and here one more term we are going to use azeotropic mixtures azeotropic mixture what is the definition of azeotropic mixture yes azeotropic mixture is nothing but what the liquid mixture which boils at constant composition the liquid mixture two or more liquid mixture which boils at constant composition is known as azeotropic mixture and it is of two types one is maximum boiling azeotropes and minimum boiling azeotropes here only you can select which which liquids which shows the maximum boiling azeotropes or minimum boiling azeotropes how to identify that maximum boiling and minimum boiling what is meant by boiling point simple definition of boiling point the temperature at which the temperature at which liquid is converted into gas right liquids are converted into vapors so if maximum boiling minimum boiling minimum boiling means less amount of heat is required so if the force of attractions are strong if force of attractions are strong more amount of heat is required to break the intermolecular forces so if force of attractions are strong it is said to be maximum boiling azeotropes because attractive force are more more amount of heat is required to uh, convert liquid into vapor so it is said to be maximum boiling azeotrope so for maximum boiling azeotrope force of attraction must be more so if attractive force is greater force of attraction is more then it is positive deviation negative deviation attractive force a b a b attractive force is greater so the non ideal solution which showing negative deviation are said to be maximum boiling azeotrope is it clear so these are the examples of maximum boiling azeotropes whereas if the attractive force are less than its liquid components if a force of attractions are decreased then very less amount of heat is required so it is said to be minimum boiling azeotrope so for minimum boiling azeotrope a minimum boiling azeotrope shows positive deviation negative deviation positive deviation because the minimum boiling means intermolecular interaction decreases when intermolecular interaction decreases the vapor pressure increases so vapor pressure increases it is more than expected value so it is said to be positive deviation so it is a simple concept ideal solution non ideal solution in non ideal solution it is of two types it showing uh, non ideal solution showing positive deviation and negative deviation azeotropic mixtures and the next concept is colligative property so in colligative properties in details it is not necessary derivations are not necessary just we can note the final expressions and we move okay colligative properties so what is the definition of colligative properties because in solution in this topic colligative property is the most important part colligative property four colligative properties you have already you have studied each first one is first one colligative properties number one relative lowering in vapor pressure second one elevation in boiling point next depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure osmosis and osmotic pressure so four colligative properties what is the definition of colligative property yes anyone what is the definition of colligative property the properties of a solution whose values is depends on number of particles not on the nature it is independent on its nature irrespective of its nature the properties whose values it depends only on number of solute particles number of solute particles that means you can say it depends on moles of solute mole fraction of solute grams of solute etc colligative properties colligative properties the properties of the solution whose values it depends only on number of particles are called as colligative properties so in this colligative properties so different number of colligative properties are there but we are going to study about the first one is relative lowering in vapor pressure 
vapor pressure that concept we have studied under the heading of vapor pressure raoult's law etc so relative lowering so what is meant by this relative lowering rl bp relative lowering in vapor pressure relative lowering in relative lowering in vapor pressure so what is the formula for this relative lowering in vapor pressure so just to direct we can give the formula which formula we are going to use because in colligative property we are mainly uh, calculating the molar mass of molar mass of solute mb in all these colligative property we are going to calculate the molar mass of solute calculate the molar mass of solute so here mb molar mass of solute we are going to calculate from the for colligative properties first one the vapor pressure of solution and solvent vapor pressure of solution and vapor pressure of solvent which one having higher values vapor pressure of solution or solvent solution solvent uh, because two types of solutions are there one the solutions which containing a non volatile solute are the solution containing both the volatile component now i am considering uh, to a solvent i have added some non electrolyte non volatile solute solid i have added solid in liquid solution i have considered so in this case vapor pressure of solutions is greater than or less than vapor pressure of solvent so that p not p vapor pressure of p not be the vapor pressure of solvent and p is the vapor pressure of solution i am representing yes p s vapor pressure of solution now what is the correct relation between these two p not is greater than or less than ps vapor pressure of a solvent is more than or less than solution what happens usually it is a solvent so it exerting some vapor pressure now i have added some non volatile solute so some of the surface are occupied by solute particle the vaporization process what happens it decreases so vapor pressure is decrease so that means so vapor pressure is greater than vapor pressure of solvent is more than vapor pressure of solution because vapor pressure of solution is decrease so lowering in vapor pressure when a non electrolyte non volatile solute is added the vapor pressure is lowered lowering in vapor pressure lowering in vapor pressure so for solution the total vapor pressure is given by total vapor pressure pt is equals to p a only am i right total vapor pressure exerted on the solution is equals to vapor pressure of the solvent only because the solute do not exert any vapor pressure right so now according to raoult's law we can write p not a into x p not a into x so p t r just p solution is equals to p not a into x upon rearranging we can write p by p not is equals to x a if these two subs these, these two terms are subtracted from 1 1 minus p by p not that is equals to 1 minus x a as you know that in place of 1 minus x a i can write x b x a plus x b is equal to what 1 sum of mole fraction of all the component is equals to 1 so this becomes p not minus p divided by p not is equals to x x b so this is the formula we required the final expression so this i can write delta p that is change in vapor pressure delta lowering in vapor pressure divided by p not means it is relative lowering in vapor pressure relative lowering in vapor pressure is equals to mole fraction of solute mole fraction of solute remember lowering in vapor pressure lowering in vapor pressure is not a colligative property lowering in vapor pressure is not a colligative property but relative lowering in vapor pressure is a colligative property relative lowering in vapor pressure is a colligative property remember just lowering in vapor pressure is not a colligative property 
but with respect to p not relative lowering in vapor pressure is a falling into property now actually i want to find out the formula of mb so how you are going to find so continue so in place of xb you can write this formula delta p by p not is equals to xb xb is nothing but number of moles of solute what is the formula number of moles of solute nb divided by na plus nb na plus nb so in the denominator term na plus nb so this term can be neglected why because as compared to the solvent the amount of solute is very less so therefore we can neglect in this case for dilute solutions we can neglect so nb is nothing but in place of nb can i write in place of nb given number of moles given mass of solute by molar mass of solute and in place of na given mass of solvent by molar mass of solvent substitute so this gives us to wb by mb whole divided by wba by mb so it can be written as ma divided by w is it right is it right okay so this is delta p by p not is equal to this is the formula so by this we can find out the mb values mb is equals to so relative lowering in vapor pressure is equals to wb by mb ma by wa so we are by calculating this mb values you can calculate so therefore molar mass of solute is equals to wb ma divided by delta p by p not into wa so this is the final formula so just we required only this formula no need to derive everything just final formula final expression for mb either this expression or this or simply by knowing this also you can write molar mass of a solute is equal to wb is nothing but what given mass of solute ma molar mass of solvent delta p is nothing but lowering in vapor pressure delta p by p not relative lowering in vapor pressure wa given mass of solvent given mass of solvent this is the first relative lowering in vapor pressure okay you just note this expression rlvp heading rlvp in that we can represent only you can note only one formula number 1 mb is equal to this similarly in remaining colligative property also you can note the final expression i will explain the second colligative property second colligative property is elevation in boiling point elevation in boiling point elevation in boiling point delta t b elevation in boiling point here also we are going to write the formula of molar mass formula to calculate the molar mass now what is meant by boiling point can you define the boiling point yes boiling point definition boiling point yes definition the temperature ha uh, the temperature at which liquids are converted into vapors right now i am changing the another definition the accurate definition is you have studied in states of matter the boiling point the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid becomes equals to atmospheric pressure the temperature at which vapor pressure becomes equals to atmospheric pressure is known as boiling point in order to understand this elevation in boiling point let's consider this graphical representations we have in the theory modes graphical representation with increase in temperature as the temperature increases which is the temperature and this is a, it is the atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure and this is vapor pressure axis vapor pressure versus temperature now i am considering two points so these are the two points number 1 a and b are x and y x and y vapor pressure of two points can you predict which point represents suppose if it is a and it is b a represents the vapor pressure of solute of uh, sorry solution or solvent because vapor pressure is more its vapor pressure is less vapor pressure is more means it is pure solvent so this represents solvent so as the temperature increases vapor pressure increases 
as the temperature increases look at this as the temperature increases the vapor pressure go on increases 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 at a particular point so this is the temperature at which the vapor pressure this is the temperature at which the vapor pressure becomes equals to atmospheric pressure the vapor pressure becomes equals to atmospheric pressure so this point this temperature is known as t b not boiling temperature of solvent is it right because it is solvent now for when some amount of solute is added vapor pressure decreases for solution vapor pressure decreased when temperature is increased when temperature is increased so vapor pressure go on increases vapor pressure increases increases and it reach to the atmospheric pressure at a particular temperature this temperature is known as this temperature is known as boiling temperature of solution t b it is t not b and it is t b boiling temperature of solution boiling temperature of solvent so directly you can say among solution and solvent solution having higher boiling point than solvent right so the difference between this boiling temperature of solution and solvent this difference is known as delta tb so this delta tb is equals to tb minus t not b tb minus t not b so this delta tb is nothing but elevation in boiling point so how we are going to define elevation in boiling point is the difference between boiling temperature of solution and solvent is known as elevation in boiling point elevation in boiling point so this is the concept elevation in boiling point now experimentally we know that elevation in boiling point delta tb is directly proportional to molarity it depends upon molarity number of moles because it is a colligative property colligative property depends only on the number of ions so therefore it is directly proportional to m so now delta tb is equals to kb into m where kb is known as proportionality constant known as ebullioscopic constant ebullioscopic constant this kb is known as ebullioscopic constant ebullioscopic constant and its unit is kelvin kg per mole is the unit kelvin kg per mole is the unit and you can define ebullioscopic constant how you are going to define if m is equals to 1 delta db is equals to kb so elevation in boiling point for one molar solution is known as ebullioscopic constant if m is equals to 1 kb is equal to delta db delta db is nothing but difference between the boiling temperature for one molar solution is known as ebullioscopic constant and its unit is kelvin kg per mole kelvin kg per mole now you know the definition of molarity definition of molarity substitute the uh, formula of molarity delta tb is equals to delta tb is equals to kb into molarity formula number of moles divided by weight of solvent number of moles given mass by molar mass divided by weight of solvent into 1000 1000 so this is the formula so by this mb can be calculated molar mass is equal to second formula note the second formula mb is equals to kb wb into 1000 kb wb into 1000 divided by delta tb and wa this is the formula to calculate molar mass this is the second formula this is first formula from relative lowering in vapor pressure second formula from elevation in boiling point elevation in boiling point here if kb value is not given in that case we can calculate kb by using the formula kb is equals to kb is equals to mtr sambar masala you have heard the advertisement mtr sambar masala m t r this is t square and b m a molar mass of molar mass of solvent boiling temperature universal gas constant divided by delta h 
delta h into 1000 delta h into 1000 kb can be calculated by using the formula m t square r by delta h into 1000 where m is molar mass of solvent t b that is boiling temperature r is gas constant delta h enthalpy of enthalpy of the liquid it is given so by knowing these values we can calculate kb kb values in order to calculate kb similarly even in the next case kf also we are going to solve in, the, in that case kf kf is equals to here it is tf square T, instead of tb we are going to use kf freezing temperature freezing temperature so this is the formula second now third third colligative property third colligative property is depression in freezing point elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point depression in freezing point so here same similar to the elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point is also a colligative property it also depends on the number of solute particles only irrespective of its nature delta tf delta tf depression in freezing point freezing point freezing point depression delta tf freezing point depression so delta tf similar to elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point here also we can explain by using the vapor pressure versus temperature curve difference between freezing temperature of solute and sorry solvent and solution so vapor pressure excess versus temperature temperature vapor pressure and this is the standard of frozen solvent frozen solvent frozen solvent so here decrease in vapor uh, decrease in the temperature suppose if these are the two points vapor pressure i have considered for a and b vapor pressure of a vapor pressure of b now we can predict a and b which among these two represents the vapor pressure of a solution and solvent a represents solution of solvent solvent because vapor pressure is more so at this higher temperature when temperature is decreased vapor pressure decreases so when as the temperature decreases this vapor pressure decreases 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 and at particular temperature it reaches the frozen liquid so this temperature is known as freezing temperature of what it is solvent no t not f t not f similarly for solution when it is uh, temperature decreases so its temperature also decreases so this is the point frozen liquid so it reaches at a particular temperature so this temperature is known as tf tf and t not f the difference between freezing temperature of solvent and solution is known as delta tf in this case delta tf is equals to higher value is t not f t not f minus tf please note this delta tb in case of delta tb boiling temperature of solution is greater than solvent but freezing temperature of solvent is greater than solution here it is tb minus t not b but in this case t not f minus tf t not f minus tf the difference between freezing temperature of solvent and solution is no, known as depression in freezing point and experimentally same experimentally remaining is same like this exper uh, uh, expressions delta tf is equals to by experimentally it is found that delta tf is directly proportional to m if you remove the proportionality symbol delta tf is equals to kf into m where this kf is known as cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant and its unit is also same kelvin kg per mole 
केल्विन केजी पर मोल अब यू आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन फॉर वन मोलर सॉल्यूशन डेल्टा टी एफ इज सेड टू बी क्रायोस्कोपिक कांस्टेंट द डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट फॉर वन मोलर सॉल्यूशन इज नोन एज क्रायोस्कोपिक कांस्टेंट राइट नाउ सब्स्टिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एम बिकॉज़ एम इज मोलारिटी राइट इट्स फार्मूला सो डेल्टा टी एफ इज इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा टी एफ इज इक्वल्स टू के एफ इनटू मोलारिटी मोलारिटी फार्मूला डब्ल्यू बी बाय एम बी डब्ल्यू बी डिवाइडेड बाय एम बी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय डब्ल्यू ए ओवर फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन इज एम बी इज इक्वल्स टू दे फॉर एम बी इज इक्वल्स टू दे सिंपलाइज एम बी इज इक्वल्स टू के एफ इनटू डब्ल्यू बी इनटू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा टी एफ इनटू डब्ल्यू ए सेम फॉर्मूला दिस इज एक्सप्रेशन नंबर थ्री एम बी इज इक्वल्स टू इन एलिवेशन बॉलिंग पॉइंट के बी डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा टी बी but in this case kf divided by delta tf remaining formulas are same so this is a third collimative property depression in freezing point elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point so three formulas number 1 molar mass from relative lowering vapor pressure molar mass from elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point depression in freezing point next the fourth collimative property osmotic pressure osmotic pressure osmosis and osmotic pressure next fourth one is osmosis and osmotic pressure what is meant by osmosis osmotic pressure what is the definition from uh, okay flow of solvent from its lower concentration to higher concentration its lower concentration to higher concentration or higher concentration to lower concentration what is the correct definition osmosis higher to lower its high concentration to low concentration osmosis and osmotic pressure osmosis and osmotic pressure osmosis and osmotic pressure suppose if this are the two liquids have taken liquids which is separated by a semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane in one case i have taken solvent and in another case i have taken solution it is semi permeable membrane what is meant by semi permeable membrane spm semi permeable membrane yes the membrane which allows only only solvent particles but not the solute okay selective the membrane which allows only solvent molecules but not the solute particles selectively which allows the movement so in one case i have taken it is a solution in this case it is solution so i have taken and in one case solvent solution and solvent now you can predict the direction of flow of solvent molecules yes it is first compartment and it is second one solvent molecules moves from solution to solvent or solvent to solution direction number 1 or 2 it is 1 or 2 yes which one is right second solvent molecules which uh, moves from its higher concentration to lower concentration its higher concentration to lower concentration because in this case in the second compartment the concentration of solvent molecules is more than first one so here concentration of water is less so therefore water molecules which flows from second to first so this is the directions in this direction the water molecules which flow and second example suppose in this two compartments i have taken two molar solutions two molar solutions and here 10 molar solutions two molar naoh 10 molar any solution x molarity i have given two molar 10 molar so it is more concentrated solution it is less concentrated solution now can you predict 
in which direction the water molecules are flows 2 to 10 na 10 to 12 in which direction it flows because 10 to 2 10 to 2 right 10 to digit right because higher concentration to lower concentration correct no no it is wrong 2 to 10 because 2 molar and 10 molar molarity definition you don't know that already number of moles of solute present in 1 liter of solution 10 molar solution means amount of solute is more amount of solvent is less it is concentrated amount of solvent is less whereas in this case amount of solvent is more solvent concentration is more in 2 molar solution than 10 molar so therefore the water molecules which flows from low concentrated low concentrated solution to high concentrated solution high concentrated solution high concentrated solution look at the definition flow of solvent molecule from low concentrated solution to high concentrated or i can say it's a higher concentration to lower it's a higher concentration means water concentration must be more water concentration it's higher concentration to lower concentration so this process is known as osmosis so semi permeable membrane can you give some of the examples parchment paper animal bladder are the examples of semi permeable membrane what is the artificial semi permeable membrane artificial semi permeable membrane cupric ferrocyanide is artificial semi permeable membrane cellophane cellophane is a semi permeable membrane synthetic semi permeable membrane cupric ferrocyanide is artificial semi permeable membrane parchment paper or animal bladder are the natural semi permeable membrane now i am moving to the osmotic pressure what is meant by osmotic pressure this is osmosis okay right osmosis and semi permeable membrane what is meant by osmotic pressure because osmotic pressure is a colligative property so what is meant by osmotic pressure look at this if a uh, flow of solvent molecules are takes place from one vessel to other from solution to solvent or solvent to solution from solvent to solution so water molecules are moving from solvent to solution now if some pressure is applied on the solution side just to, to stop the osmosis process so in order to stop the flow of water molecules if i apply some amount of pressure on solution side then it becomes stop or it uh, the process of osmosis it stop so that pressure required to stop the osmosis process is known as osmotic pressure the pressure required to stop the osmosis process is called as osmotic pressure whereas reverse osmosis one applications we have studied reverse osmosis desalination of water what is that process the pressure more than osmotic pressure is applied on the solution side then the process get reverse that means water squeeze out from solution to the pure side so therefore we can desalination of water desalination process that means purifying the water purifying the, the osmotic pressure means just the pressure required to stop the osmosis process if more than that is applied then the process it reverses then you can say uh, which one the process is known as desalination of water is an example reverse osmosis reverse osmosis now experimentally it is found that osmotic pressure is also a colligative property osmotic pressure is also a colligative property depends upon the concentration it is directly proportional to c or else ideal gas equation pv is equals to nrt no ideal gas equation pv is equals to nrt i am writing pi v is equals to nrt pi is equals to n by v rt pi is equals to this n by v is nothing but concentration term number of moles by volume there is molarity number of moles divided by volume it is molarity so pi is equals to this r and t are the constant r t is the constant so pi is according uh, experimentally it is found that osmotic pressure is also a colligative property because it depends upon the concentration of solution concentration so pi is equals to n by v r t where v is volume of solution in liters if it is given in ml you need to multiply by 1000 so again pi is equals to in place of n number of moles 
number of moles wb by yes wb divided by mb it is rt divided by v so therefore final expression mb is equals to molar mass of solute is equals to wrt by pi v wrt by pi v remember this v is in liters v is in liters so here or else if it is given in ml then you need to multiply by 1000 so this is the molar mass of solute you can calculate from this expression so these are the four polarity properties and one more small concept is the abnormal molar mass abnormal molar mass it is uh, okay it is uh, skipped from the present syllabus it is not there but maybe it is taught in the regular class abnormal molar mass went of factor degree of dissociation degree of association calculation of ph calculation of dissociation constant etc so that concept we will discuss in the next class so these are about four polarity properties so just four polarity properties you need to write the formulas mb is equals to remember up to this we have used one word note that when a non electrolyte non volatile solute is added so this formula is applicable to a non electrolyte non volatile solute that means the added solute do not undergoing ionization or dissociation it do not split up and non volatile if some electrolyte is added this is applicable for non electrolyte if some electrolyte is added then we are going to use wenthoff factor i wenthoff factor this i will discuss in the next class wenthoff factor so just uh, once again you recall these formulas in the next class by uh, introducing the electrolyte concept that is wenthoff factor and some extra points uh, abnormal molar mass we will discuss in the next class okay thank you